Okay. Well, let's see. Click to expand. Okay, friends. Hello. <laughs> this is certainly wacky. Is it? Do you see me? Yes. We, we can see you looking at your computer. Okay, well. Can, can you hear me on headphones? Yes, I, I can hear you saying all this. Okay. This is all live. Okay. Hello, friends. <laughs> Evie. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, oh, good. My upstairs neighbor has joined, and they'll understand why there's hollering coming from downstairs. For you early birds, the show starts at 8.30, so I'm, I'm just here till then. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, it's 8.30. Hi, my name is Eric Amble, and I'm here for, to play the live music for the quarantine for all my shut-in friends who are doing the right thing and staying home instead of going out and being goofballs and, uh, you know, spreading the virus. Uh, tonight, I'm happy to say... 
I will not be singing any of my own songs. I've decided, uh, you know, I lost some gigs, just, but everybody's lost gigs, and uh, we're all getting through this together. There's something I always wanted to do, was to do a gig where I was playing songs of bands that I have produced over the years. And uh, so this seems like a perfect time to do that. And I can have my cheat sheet here because these are songs I've never sung before. But I like them all and uh, I hope you'll enjoy it. So I'm going to start with one that was recorded in the 90s. Uh, by that little old band from Festus, and this particular song, when I got it, it was on a cassette. It had a working title. The working title was, and I'm quoting from Brian Henneman, this is what it sounds like when you're thinking about your friend's girlfriend while listening to Lindsey Buckingham. Okay. If he ever changes his mind and thinks of leaving you behind Or if he just wants some more And he steps out the front door when you go to the store, but also to remember to try to support your local restaurants if you can. The restaurant people are in just as hard a time as the music people. And I am, uh, I've got a Negroni here that was delivered to me by a local favorite called Bar Camillo. Uh, okay, so... You might want to have a pencil or something to keep track of some of these songs. I have another dear friend 
who left this world a couple of years ago, but I produced a record for him in the 90s that came out in the 2000s. Uh, the record is called The Williamsburg Affair, and the artist is my friend, the late, great Greg Trooper. And I'd like to, I'd like to sing you one of his songs now, this one's called Stronger All the Time. just wanted to show you that, you know, this song, it's a beautiful song, it's about one of our ex-presidents, and it makes me think about the fact that it takes a big man to admit a mistake, and uh, I'll tell you right now, when I made this record, for Blue Mountain, I made a mistake because I wanted them to take this song off. I thought it was too, too much uh, yeehaw, uh, y'all 
country, but I missed the point on what a beautiful song it was at the time. I realized my mistake, and I went with what the band wanted to do, and we put it on the album. Then, <laughs> another one of the bands that I work with, a fabulous band called Go To Blazes from Philadelphia, recorded this song in a totally different arrangement, uh, and that's the one I'm going to play for you right now. In the bicentennial summer of our faded glory lane, bright and face appeared upon the Jimmy Carter set his sights on every schoolboy's dream. Well, the odds were stacked against him, but he wasn't afraid to fight. The mighty fascist empire was lined up along the right. We'll take the hand. That great inauguration, the GOP stood shaking in their shoes, serenaded by Willie and toasted by Billy. This president with honest peanut roots. Well, he said. Time's got my toe. He never flipped his lid. We'll take the hand of a man with a handful of love. One and only Jimmy Carter. Peter's gone to sleep, and I, uh... They're with you, honey. Okay, they're with me. Have another drink, folks? Also, in the 90s, I had the good fortune to produce a really great band from, uh, from Raleigh called the Backsliders, and, uh, they were a fabulous band. They like a lot of bands, sometimes bands div divide into factions and 
Sometimes they aren't all getting along so good. But I'll tell you, there was only one place we could order food from. And the only thing we could order from that was place was Shrimp Po' Boys. And that whole band, they came together on their lunch order like no motherfuckers you ever saw. Just go, who wants a Shrimp Po' Boy? It's like, boop, 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 boop. Okay. Eight shrimp po' boys. Well, Chip wrote this beautiful bummer song. You know, when you're making records, and when you have to work on a bummer song, if it's a really good one, it bums people out. And uh, it's one thing for the listener to s listen to the record and have that one bummer song in between these other songs. But when you're making the record and the bummer song, you're working on it, if it's a good bummer song, it really can bum you out. Chip wrote this beautiful song, and uh, this was before I had a computer, and I was producing another band upstate, a band called Martin's Folly, and in my, in my satchel, I had the lyrics printed out to this song, and we finished up doing basic tracks, and it was too late in the day to start doing overdubs, and so I was like, well, why don't you guys, I'm, give me 45 minutes, and I'm going to run around the studio, and I'm going to play every single part on this song for you. And that's what I did. So this song I have sung before, and it, it's on my, uh, it's on my record, uh, Knucklehead, and it's a song by Chip. Robinson called Psychic Friend. And this is the non bummer version uh, musically. so much. That's uh, Psychic Friend by Chip Robinson. Uh, you know, uh, 
I've got a couple songs here. Um, I really want to thank the, Melissa from Americana Highways. Uh, she's been putting on all these shows for everybody. Four bands a night. It's almost like crazy, like uh, CBGB level amount of performance. And uh, you guys should give her a big hand. There's, there might be a link on there to contribute to Americana Highways. or And if you haven't already liked their page, you could like their page at Americana Highways. Now, there's another record that I worked on. You know, when you're in a band with guys and you're traveling around the country, you know, when you're a kid, your dad might have tried to or not been able to explain what it was to be like army buddies with somebody. Uh, but there's kind of a bond that, that just really can't be explained. Uh, and I lost one of my uh, brothers, band brothers, last year. Our good friend Kelly Looney. Everybody loves Kelly. And uh, a while back I had helped Kelly uh, make a record on himself that he was selling out on the Steve Earle gigs and, and I think Steve was letting him play a song or two live. And I'd like to play this one for you that, uh, that Kelly wrote that we recorded. Uh, we recorded a lot of it at home and then we got uh, Phil Cimino to come and do the drums for real over at the studio. This song's called Young Forever by Kelly Looney. Panic's got a song to run Our mothers, fathers we become Wrinkled guys, receding gums Time is running Our jeans are flared. We got Viagra and our wives real 
That was by Kelly Looney. You can find his record on Bandcamp uh, under his name, Kelly Looney, Black Sheep Blues. Again, I'd like to thank our hosts, uh, Americana Highways, and I'd like to thank all of you for listening and for helping out all of us musicians and staying cool and staying home and helping each other this tough time. Before I leave you, I want to play you this song by uh, Jimbo Mathis. I, I was aware of Jimbo Mathis because I knew that he was the guy behind the crazy ass uh, record called Sweet Tea. The insane blues record, probably the most insane modern blues record uh, by Buddy Guy. And I became friends with his guitar player on a internet guitar forum, on a Dr. Z amp forum. So, you know, let's, you, these amp, the guitar forums, they aren't all bad. So, and uh, his guitar player sort of, you know, made, made a introductions and next thing you know, I'm producing Jimbo Mathis. And this song, the, the last song I'd like to leave you with is uh, called I Want to Be Your Satellite, and it's from the White Buffalo record. I do want to be your satellite. Okay. for joining me and James McMurtry is coming up next before I leave don't forget Spanking Charlene they just played beforehand their record came out and then they got their legs yanked out from under them Emily Duff another record I just produced it just came out she had to cancel her whole tour so look her up for Emily Duff thank you so much I'm Eric Campbell this is Nils Lofgren on my t-shirt. I was lucky to produce him too. My name dropping is done for the night. So now 
you'll get a brief intermission, and then James McMurtry will play for you. Thank you.